Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Springdale Mini 1800BH. If you're looking for a lightweight bunk model, this is definitely one you want to pay attention to. The particular model we're going to go over today is in the vineyard interior. Let's start over uh, right over here in the kitchen. One of the things you will notice is even though it's not a huge camper, you get good countertop space. You have all this prep space right here, which is great. Right next to that's a single bowl sink, which is all you need in a little camper like this. High rise faucet there too, to make it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. You will see that they have a two burner cooktop here. Uh, you know, different orientation than standard, but again, that's to give you more prep space. Just make sure, you know, if you're cooking back here, that if, you know, you're not putting uh, your hands over this one, if it's a hot flame, anything like that, and you will be just fine there. Window here as well to let in some natural light. Uh, right over here, you have an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker, toaster, anything like that, it's a natural spot to put it right here. And as I said, you do have plenty of countertop space to accommodate that. Uh, right underneath, if we take a look here, you have a fridge-freezer combo. You'll see the nice little drop-down ice box right there. Everything you need, that way you have sufficient cold storage. Right over here is your multimedia center. Uh, this is great. This unit does control the speakers inside as well as the speakers outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we head outside. Right down here is your furnace. Direct vent, keeps everything nice and warm. Make sure the kids are toasty, sit at the table you're warm, and it'll certainly keep you warm in the uh, bed there as well. Two full extension drawers. That way you have plenty of room for not just your silverware, but some of your bigger utensils like your spatulas, big knives, things of that nature. If you take a look up top, look at this storage. This is awesome. Huge storage up here. They didn't put a style or anything in the center, so you get nice big pantry storage there up top. Over to the side is the microwave. Here's the weight of the unit, just over 3,300 pounds. You gotta love that. Again, easily towable by you know, like your mid-size SUV. Right underneath is your fully functional hood with a light and fan, and of course, that is above your cooktop. If you take a look right here, Look at that, excellent pantry space there. Uh, if you want, if you need some extra hanging space, maybe for kids' clothes, you know, you can put a small little tension rod up there to hang some clothes up. Otherwise, you can use this for food. You can put, you know, kids' folded clothes in here. Just kind of a versatile space that uh, allows you some flexibility. Right in the back is the bathroom. You'll see right down here, foot flush lever toilet. You have good leg room there in front. Over to this side is your sink top, some storage underneath that. Uh, you'll also see the mirrored medicine cabinet right up above with storage behind that. And on the ceiling, you have your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. Over to this side is the tub shower. You see the curved uh, shower rail there and a hand wand for ease of use. But I really like having a tub when you have a bunk model in case you have really small kids. That way you can give them a bath still. Right back here are the two bunks, 300 pound weight capacity on there. So if you do have some older kids that are going uh, camping with you, you can still easily support them. You'll also notice you have LED lights in both window there on the bottom to help let in some of that natural light. Right over here is the dinette, nice big dinette. It easily allows four people to sit here and play a game together or have a meal together. And if you do have additional guests that need to stay the night, this does drop down into a bed. You can remove the two legs here. The table itself will then sit along these rails, take the cushions from the back, set it in, and that will create your sleeping space. If you have to plug in a laptop or tablet, you do have an electrical outlet right over here, so you have a place to plug that in. If you have small ones, as always, you know, if they uh, you know, are two years old or something, they're into everything, make sure you put some safety plugs in there, but that goes with just about any camper. Uh, right up top here, good additional storage. You can see that there. Window right in between the table and the storage here, again, for natural light. And if you want a TV, this is where it would go. They did already put a mounting bracket here in the wall for you. The connections are right above it. Your AC is a wall-mounted unit, that way it helps keep a low profile. Again, you'll probably be towing this, uh, you know, with an SUV. And so the lower the, the lower the unit is, the better it will tow. And that is plenty. That will definitely uh, keep it nice and cool in here on those hot days. Shelf going across the top for some additional storage. You see the uh, window there at the head of the bed. Again, some natural light. You can also open that up for airflow if you don't want to run the AC. 
Speakers up on the ceiling here, as I mentioned, those are connected to your multimedia center LED lights there too. Right over here is your wardrobe, so you have a place to hang some clothes. And then underneath you have this nice little nightstand area as well as uh, dual USB ports and your standard electrical outlet. So you have a place to charge your phone at night or if you have a CPAP machine or other device you need to run at night, you have a place in which you can plug that in. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features of the Springdale Mini 1800. Right up front your 20 pound propane tank. This of course will provide the gas you need for your furnace and your cooktop. Right behind that, you have rails there for your battery. And then coming up the front here is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So we come around to the side, you can see the nice large pass-through storage there. It's again, good storage, especially considering the smaller stature of this camper. Stabilizer jacks on all four corners, as you would expect. Right here is your awning. It is a manual awning, but it works very well. It's a twist style awning rather than having to undo locks and have two people to get this out. You take that tool that was right there in that pass through, you hook it in that loop and all you have to do is spin it. Honestly, this is just as fast, if not faster than most of the power awnings out there. It works very, very well. Entrance into the camper right here, you have the one folding step as well as the grab handle right here for some extra grip. Electrical outlet right outside, in case you need to plug anything in. If you want to set up a table or something here, have a crock pot outside, that's where you plug it in at. The two external speakers, as I mentioned, those are connected to that multimedia center inside. And as I said, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So what you can do is you can sit out here in your chairs underneath your awning. You can use your smartphone or tablet to be able to control the media right on your device. And again, play through the speakers out here. Spare tire mounted on the back. Hopefully you never have to use this guy, but in the event that you do, you know it's riding right back here. It's easy to get at. You don't have to get on your hands and knees or anything to get underneath the trailer. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Summerlin Mini 1800 BH. This one is in the vineyard interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.